Right, ten couples, fastest finger first. Now, the person who actually made the initial phone call will be the one to play while the others sit there with uh, bated breath. It's fastest finger first, no calling out. There's every chance you'd be wrong. So let them concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Working down from forehead to chin, put these makeup items in order of where they're usually applied. I wouldn't have a clue. Blusher, lipstick, eyebrow pencil, mascara. <laughs> oh, let's see. Right, let's check the right order then, shall we? First and foremost, working from forehead down. Um, first and foremost, eyebrow pencil. Then it's mascara, apparently. Uh, then it's blusher. And then it's lipstick. Right, that's the right order. Now, see how many got it right? These got it right. Uh, quite a few, actually. Now, who was fastest? Trudy and Andy in 5.80 <laughs> seconds. Trudy! <laughs> Then. Is that him? Just Have a look at him. What's he like? Is he going to be any good at this? Um, he's probably going to be scared. Is he going to be scared? <laughs> okay, but you're not scared. No. Oh. No. Okay, let's play for me. <laughs> so here we go. Trudy Palmer. This is with partner Andy Hall from Chesterfield. Lots of luck. 15 questions, £1 million. Pounds, three brand new lifelines. Uh, they've got a 50 50. They can phone a friend and they can ask this audience. And the important thing is you must both agree on your final answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, lots of luck. Fingers crossed for you. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Have a look. Question number one for £100. Pounds. Who was the star of the films Seven and The Devil's Own? Brad Hole. Brad Ditch. Brad, I think we know where we're going, don't we? Brad French <laughs> or Brad Pitt for £100? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, it's the final answer, it's right, you've got £100. <laughs> OK, have a look, question number two for 200 quid. Here we go, you're 14 away from a million. You feeling right? So far? Not okay. bad. Have a look, question number two for £200, here it is. Which phrase refers to the attitudes, loyalties, and values associated with British public schools. Old school tie, old college shirt, old academy cap, old faculty shorts. I don't think it's old academy cap. I've got no idea. Some of you are. <laughs> I can't believe we don't know too much. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only old school pounds. tie, old college shirt, old academy cap, old faculty shorts. Yeah, we'll ask the audience. It's OK, that's what they're there for. <laughs> OK, audience on your keypads, please let's make sure we get Trudy and Andy up to £200. Mm -hmm. Which phrase refers to the attitudes, loyalties and values associated with British public schools? All on your keypads, A, B, C or D, all vote now. Andy, you can obviously still go with old academy cap. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> old, school old school time. Final answer? Yeah. Funny that. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got £200. Question number three is for 300 quid. Here we go. Complete the famous saying, don't put all your eggs in one box, custard, basket, omelette. Basket. Basket is the right answer. Got 300 pounds. <laughs> Just be aware, you would go home with nothing if you gave me a wrong answer. That hasn't happened for a very long time. You've got to phone a friend and you've got a 50 50. Okay. okay? Question number four is for 500 quid. What term is applied to a person ideally suited to another as a close friend or romantic partner? First mate, checkmate, running mate, soulmate. Soulmate. Yeah. Soulmate. Sure. Final answer? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. It's good. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Question number five 
Now, Andy Trudy, have a good look at this because you worry me. You do. We, we have to get this one right. <laughs> if you give me a wrong answer, you go home with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got both lifelines. Have a look at question number five. If you give me a right answer to this, I guarantee you're going home with at least £1,000. Here it comes. Which play saw its 20,000th West End performance in December 2000? Cats. Art. The Woman in Black. The Mousetrap. What do you think? What were you going to say? I was going to say cats. Cats. I know the mouse trap's the longest running one. Yeah, Twenty thousand Western performance in December two thousand. If you give me a wrong answer, you're going with nothing. So take your time, have a good look at it. What should we do? Mm. I'll leave it with you. Should we do fifty fifty? Morning. Yeah, we'll do a fifty fifty. Will we? Okay. <laughs> she said yes. Right. <laughs> Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Trudy and Andy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what do you want to do? It's either risk it on the mousetrap or I'll ring my dad. Ring your dad? I have to ring my dad, then I'm one thousand pounds. <laughs> okay, what's dad called? It's Mick. <laughs> Hello. Mick? Yes. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, hi, Chris. Hiya, I've got Trudy and Andy here. Yep. Now, they're stuck on one particular question. We need your help. Right. Uh, it's worth £1,000. OK. OK. The next voice you hear will be Trudy's. She'll tell you the question. She's got 30 seconds to tell you the question and two answers. One of them's right, one of them's wrong. OK. OK. Trudy, lots of luck. Fingers crossed. Time starts now. All right. Which play saw its 20,000th West End performance in December 2000? Was it Cats or The Mousetrap? I would be 90% sure, Trudy, it's The Mousetrap. Right, that's what I thought. OK. OK, thanks. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Go for that. Yeah, we'll go for The Mousetrap. This would be wrong, it's Dad's fault, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. yeah. Agree? Yeah. yeah. It's the right answer, you got a thousand pounds. <laughs> Now, how are you feeling now, Trudy? Um, a bit dim. <laughs> dim. OK, now listen, you've got £1,000. Serious business. Have a look at number six. Uh, it's worth £2,000. You've got nothing to lose on this question. You've got no lifelines, but you might as well play this. Here it comes. As what is Raymond Blanc best known? Ballet dancer, footballer, politician, chef. Uh, no, it's not a footballer. No, it's not a footballer. <laughs> uh, I'd guess at a chef. Yeah, I'd guess at a chef. We don't know, so we're going to guess at a chef. Why chef? I don't know. <laughs> so it sort of rings a bell in the back of my mind, but it's probably completely wrong. Not a ballet dancer? No. No. How do you know? How many ballet dancers do you know, Andy? <laughs> well, I know. No. <laughs> I'm just... Not a politician? No. Final answer? Yeah. You know you had £1,000? You've got £2,000 now. <laughs> Have a look at number seven, you might like it. It's for £4,000. Here it comes. In which of these drinks would you be most likely to find tannin? Vodka, milk, lemonade, red wine. It's red wine, isn't it? I ain't a clue. I ain't a clue one bit. I think it's red wine. Well, you drink more, more wine than me, so... <laughs> it's up to you. You've got 2000 Shall we take a risk? Well, it's worth 4000 I'd say you drink more wine than me. I think it's red wine. Are you going to be mad? <laughs> you don't have to play it. You can walk away with £2,000 guaranteed. You lose 1000 if you're wrong. Red wine. Final answer? Yep. Final answer? Yep. yep. You just won £4,000. <laughs> Yes, and you nearly went away on two hundred quid at one stage. <laughs> now, 
Just eight away from the million? Come on! <laughs> you got no lifelines. You've got £4,000. Now, that probably means a huge amount of money to you two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. This is for £8,000, but, Andy, Trudy, if you give me a wrong answer here, you lose £3,000 of the £4,000 you got your way up to. Okay. Have a good look at number eight. Yep. Uh, if you don't like it, run like hell. In which country was the tennis player Martina Navratilova born? Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Belgium. I don't know. Czechoslovakia. Do you absolutely 100% know that to be sure? <laughs> Czechoslovakia. She might have lived there but not been born. No, she lived in America, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I'm sure. Czechoslovakia. 100%. Yeah. Think about it for a minute. I am. Sure. <laughs> Do you know she was born there? Yes. Yes. Andy, your instincts so far, so far haven't been great. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> Listen, it's up to you guys, but you've got £4,000. It's worth £8,000. It's £4,000 or £1,000, so if you're sure, I'll go with you. If you're not sure, don't do it. I'm sure it's Czechoslovakia, but would you be mad if it was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Czechoslovakia. OK. Right, Czechoslovakia. Final answer. Yeah, he went with me on the Italian one and he wasn't sure, so... Yeah. <laughs> You've just won eight thousand. <laughs> what a team! I tell you what, Andy, you're coming good. Andy, you've got eight thousand. Serious money. Yeah, serious money. Yeah. What would it mean to you? Hell of a lot. A lot. Right, a lot. this is for 16,000. Do not lose this sum of money. Uh, Guys, if you give me a wrong answer here, you lose 7,000 pounds. Okay. Have a look at question number nine. Which of these is not a flat fish? Mackerel, Dover sole, halibut, place. Well, if I was going to guess, I'd probably say mackerel, but I don't know. What? I'm quite happy with eight thousand pounds. I am <laughs> very happy. Yeah. No. No. Take no. More. We'll take eight thousand, please. Final <laughs> answer. Yeah. yeah. Oh God! <laughs> I'm so happy. Give him a big hand. I don't mean to sound kindly, but I'm so glad you're going. You fought me to death. <laughs> Right, Trudy and Andy go back to Chesterfield up in Derbyshire with £8,000. I can tell you, if you'd said to me, mackerel, you would be sitting here now with £16,000. Uh, it wasn't worth the risk. It was not worth the risk. Give him a big hand. Great. Well done, mate. Yes. Great. Thank you, Thank you. You've been brilliant. Well done, the you. Cheers. Oh, that was tense. Trudy and Andy finally take £8,000 back to Chesterfield. Now, we've still got nine couples left. Fastest finger first again. No calling out, please, in the audience, uh, particularly the partners. Right, here comes the question. Put these months in alphabetical order. January, February, March, April. Think sitting at home, you get nine out of nine right, but I bet you don't. I tell you what, at speed, they're not as easy. Uh, this is the right alphabetical order uh, A for April, uh, then it's F for February, then it's J for January, then it's M for March. Right, that's the right order. Now, all these got it right. Who was fastest? Not everybody got it right. Who was fastest? Lorraine and Russell. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me have a look at Russell. Let's have a look at Russell. Is he going to be any good? Uh, we'll he looks, see. He looks it, absolutely terrified. He <laughs> you sure it's the right man? Have you got the right bloke? <laughs> I've, I've known him long enough. I think he is. OK, do you want to play for a million pounds between you? <laughs> you do. You do. You do. So 
Uh, this is Lorraine and husband of 30 years, Russell Thomas from Sutton Coalfield in the West Midlands. They both run a retail fashion store. Watching tonight will be the boys, Nicholas and Christopher, whose only advice to mum is keep cool, mum, because she has a tendency to get carried away. I think we've already seen that. OK, 15 questions between you and a million pounds. You must give me...